Whether you're juggling a career, side hustle, dating, or just starting your day out, the right bag can make all of the difference when it comes to functionality and your fit. Hi, I'm Maria, the Maria Fadden on socials, and today we're gonna to be talking about three essential bags every woman, or just anyone who's into bags in general, should have in the closet. Let's get into it. As we all know, your handbag, your accessories can say a lot about you. I feel like a lot of people, accessories say more about them. I feel like you can really tell like if they're minimal or a little bit into like showing off their eccentric side, things of that nature. We see that a lot in accessories. And so I think accessories says a lot about you, including your handbag. And so I'm gonna be going into the three essential bags that you should know about or you should have in your closet in order for you to have a well-rounded wardrobe and closet at the end of the day. So yeah, let's go. Now, first off, we have the work bag. I'm sure most of you watching this video have a job somewhere you have to clock into. I know I do myself. So yeah, I have a work bag on here because you're going to need it. All right. At one point in time, you're going to need it. A work bag should be durable and it should be versatile. In my opinion, I typically go for black, white, or gray when it comes to bags, especially when I'm using everyday one, I'm going to lean more black or gray. And that's what I'm going to be showing you a lot of examples of, but it's up to you. If you feel like you're more of a neutral palette in general, or a you like deeper greens and forest greens, or you just like colors in general, go for it. Now the work bag is your everyday warrior. It has to carry your laptop or your iPad documents, you know, your water bottle, an umbrella in case you raise, um, your ear pods, some sunglasses. These are all the things in my bag, a little notebook, a pen. So you want something that fits all of those things. It is an emergency away from home you know, a bag. It's, you know, what you go to and consult when you need something when you're out of your home and you could be working super far from your office. So yeah, your bag is your, probably your next touch point to all the essentials that you need. And you want something that's big enough for all of that, right? But you also want something that you can take after work to like a drink. So it's very versatile, versatile, but classy put together. You can wear it to the office and hey, why not, right? When you want to explore some luxury option, I would say to look into the Low Wave Flamenco, which I have personally, or the Low Wave Puzzle Toe, which is a little bit cheaper. They have like, well, depending on the size that you get, there's a suede interior for those. And then the bigger ones, the one that I have has the, you know, the cotton cloth interior. Or you can also look into the Saint Laurent Classic East West Toe. I have a coworker who has that bag. It is a beautiful bag. I absolutely love it. Very, very durable, very, very spacious. Or I will look into the Celine Cava 16, which really, really appealed to me too. The one thing that got me was like the locket part may have taken a little bit more space out of the bag. But in retrospect, when I ended up getting the flamenco, which again is why I say going to the stores, make sure you check it out, see as many reviews as possible. But for that one, it ended up having a magnet, which did almost the same thing. So in retrospect, I should have gotten that. And maybe that would be on my list for next year. But the all these bags that I mentioned do fit like a large iPad. I use an iPad that's a nine inch one, that it was an older generation one, but I have a nine inch iPad. And I use that for work and, you know, to take notes and if it's perfectly well in those. Now a 13 inch laptop might be able to fit as well, but it probably would not close for these bags. I do like the aspect of like, you know, the drop shoulder and everything. Again, these are tote bags, which are great for workspace. And in my opinion, I would recommend having like a little bag divider, look at the dimensions that fit the bag, but it makes organization in the bag so much better, whether it's luxury, non-luxury, just in general for totes, because things can just get, it becomes an abyss in the bag for me and for the flamenco specifically it the bag itself doesn't have any structure now as you put more stuff in it you get a little bit of a shape to it but i wanted structure so mine has like i've said it has the same bag organizer that i just took out of my cell phone when i switched and got the flamenco itself like i said go to the store if you're spending all this money on it it would be advice if you have a store close to you to go to it if not try to find as many reviews as possible i'm sure you'll find somebody talking about the bag right so see some of those reviews to see what people are saying Obviously, if you can't find it on YouTube, you should go to TikTok, someone to show you a video. I would say, you know, last resort would probably be Reddit because it's more written and maybe someone sends, puts a video there or a photo there. Maybe you might get something there. But those are my three sources of avenues that I go through to try to find stuff about bags that I'm going to find if it's on the store or if I don't have the chance to go into a store. But if you're going luxury route, that would be my biggest tip. Now, for the more affordable options and people who have, you know, the more affordable options, like I mentioned earlier, 
You could go with a full leather Telfar, like I mentioned. I do love my Telfar. I do not typically like to recommend full leather. I don't typically like to recommend stuff like that. It is recycled, okay? It is half recycled, so that's why I'm still even recommending it. And I truly, truly love my Telfeezy. All right, my Telfar, it's, I've traveled with it. It's very durable. It doesn't have scratches. Nothing happens to it. It is just a good bag. So for me, I would recommend for you to look into the Telfar if you want something, you know, very affordable. Now, Telfar does have the thing where they release it at a certain time, so that's like a whole other element to it. You can obviously go onto the resale markets with like Poshmark and things like that. I know the Telfar might be a bit hard to get and you don't even wanna play those games. I would recommend looking into Mango. This dress that I'm wearing is from Mango. I love Mango. I think they have a really good selection for a really good price point. As long as you look at the materials and all the stuff that's there, you will find a good piece at some point on some sale or at some discount that makes it really worth the purchase in my opinion. This mango short handle shopping bag for me looks like the Louis Vuitton hobo bag. They have this low key hobo which I'm very very interested in but I'm not sure about because of the shoulder situation but I do like those type of shoulders so maybe I should look into it but I have to go into the store. So until that time we pause on that but the, it reminds me of the LV low key hobo and but it also reminds me of the row and S the park vibe, like that bag as well. Also a short strap, like a short handle bag as well, but also hobo aspect. It kind of reminds me of a combo of both of them. And I am obsessed with that look. I said I wasn't gonna spend that much more money next, but it is $50. And I think Mango also has like a 30% sale right now. And if I use Rakuten, which also has a 12% sale, I could get 42% off, which is like 50% off when you really think about it. So really that $50 is really more like 30, but taxes this is the math that's how you do the math but that's an affordable bag and i don't know how limited or whatever it is but it's leather and could be really great if you like short handle if you don't then don't go for that bag maybe you know try to tell fizzy or find something else like that like the Dagny Dover I'm about to get into. Another bag to check out is the Dagny Dover Signature Tote. Now, I recently just got this for my sister-in-law. Well, my husband and I got it for her for her baby shower for our godson. But anyway, um, we just got this bag and it is, I was recently introduced to this brand, but the quality is great. It fits a lot of things. You see the photos that are showing up on the screen. It fits so many things, right? It is a truly work everyday, like a mom bag, but at the same time, and I do know they have like the diaper bags and everything, but it is it fits everything you need for work again leather love me and my leathers um now if, if you're the kind of person that obviously you're not into leathers that's why i gave you the telfar option so yes you have some options there different price ranges i would say look at rakuten look at um sales make sure you maybe get some coupon deals from honey or something there are literally coupons just floating off the internet so you could just add that to your checkout literally it does it for you so you know it's not that hard but those are some ways that you can come up with that, like I just said with the mango one. But um, yeah, I'm keeping my eye very, very tightly closed on that mango one myself. But those are some work bag options you can go to. Everything from luxury to affordable, in my opinion, which I've shown you some options. Now, I remember when I bought my first investment luxury bag, like I said, with the Louis V uh, flamenco for work. Now that was, yeah, um, it is an investment thing, right? The leather is great. It wear, it holds really well. I wear it for everything. It doesn't really stain. Even when I got a stain inside it and I had to clean it out, nothing happens to the bag on the outside. It really is just a very durable bag. It is very soft leather. There's no structure to it, but I love that bag. Now, I will say in retrospect, maybe I would want a bag that I could also, and I've mentioned this, be a crossbody bag, right? Because you don't, the pressure of just carrying one thing on your one shoulder all day is not ideal. So maybe, you know, that's where you look into the Dagon Dovers or maybe just get like a little clip on on Amazon that makes it a crossbody and you're good to go. There are so many solutions for that. I've seen people do this, but I will say you don't necessarily have to spend a million bucks to get a good bag. Obviously I had a bag from Nordstrom before that was full leather. And that was the bag that I was using before I started using my Telfar before I even got into my, um, before I even got into my flamenco before that was my Ralph Lauren bucket bag. Um, I wore that one out for a long time before I got the Nordstrom one. Like there, you know, I just go through different work bags and that's totally fine, but you just, you know, you'll find the one that you really, really, really like. So, but these are different styles and all and 
different price ranges i would say i've definitely given like literally with all the deals and stuff that i mentioned one is like 30 dollars at this point and you know we have everything up to like three thousand so these are different ranges of affordability and i hope that helps you with some of your shopping when it comes to finding that work tote bag but this is an essential that i think every woman needs in their closet a work tote bag is an essential if you're gonna even care water bottles and all this stuff trust me save yourself the stress of having four bags in one Let's get into the next bag, the casual bag. This is a bag you grab for errands, grab when you want to quickly meet up with friends for lunch. Maybe you want to go meet up your boo for lunch. This should be a lightweight bag. This should be ideally crossbody, hands-free, able style bag. And that's what we're talking about right now. This is a bag that's able to hold all of your essentials, everything that you need in your day-to-day, -day, but at the same time, it's stylish enough and fits like the context, right? This is the casual bag. You are going to just run errands in it, but at the same time, you want to look good. Right? At least that's my goals. That's my criteria. So if you're into bag, you need a casual bag. It's it's a non-negotiable, get you one, all right? Personally, for me, I love my Bottega Mini Wallace. I have that bag. I've done a review on it. Go check it out. It is very versatile. It is a top handle bag, but at the same time, it's a shoulder bag. Now, I do feel like when I put it on the shoulder, it's more like leaning into the back, but it is a beautiful, beautiful bag. Very well made. I just use it for everything. I used it when I traveled for my honeymoon. If it's a water bottle in there, like a, you know, small water bottle, of course, respectable. If it's a water bottle in there, if it's my bath or everything that I wanted to put in for daily, like going around, fit every single thing. Now, I would say that the one thing that would have topped that bag for me would have been a crossbody aspect. And that's why the Loewe Puzzle in Black My Calf Skin, which I also have a review for, to go check that out. But that one is the ideal bag because of the fact that one, it's a neutral black bag. It's top handle if I want to switch it to top handle. It is crossbody. It is on the side. It I can shorten it, make it longer as necessary. So that for me, those are some of the options that I have personally, but you know, it depends, right? If I'm going out to like more of a date-ish vibe or like, you know, friends hangout, I may just take out my mini wallets because it's more cute and fix the context of like, maybe my outfit, but like if I'm really running errands, but at the same time, I know I'm going to meet up with someone after, I'm just going to take my blue wavy puzzle. Now, personally for me, I do not recommend this material, this mellow calfskin material thing. I don't recommend it. Now I would say look to the grained leathers, like they're pebble leathers. I have pebble leather um, puzzle, no scratches, nothing. This one I've seen like the grain, um, the scuffs on my body because it's like a more softer, glossier leather. So in my opinion, if you're going to look for this bag, just go towards the more grained aspect of it. You're going to save yourself the, str the stress. Trust me, the bag is, is good. I'm still going to wear it out and it is to still hold up. I just have to like polish and condition it way more than I would have liked to for a bag at this price point, in my opinion. Do I still like it? Yes. Have I returned it? No, but I like it. Yes. Okay. But that's just something I would say to consider. And another bag that I really have been looking into myself that I really like is the Gucci 1995 horse bit shoulder bag. It is like a crossbody, also a shoulder bag, which is giving the same thing, but it doesn't have that top handle aspect like, you know, my Loewe puzzle. But I do really like it because it is so classy. It is an elegant look and an elegant aesthetic. It reminds me of my Marc Jacobs bag, which I've had for so long. I love that bag. And, you know, it's the same aesthetic, same look, obviously a little bit classy. And I love that the material is almost like a Safiano leather. So it doesn't stain or grain or scuff. Okay. So that's something I've been actually looking my, like, you know, I've been looking into myself, but that's another, you know, casual bag that you can take with you. And it fits so much. Like there's actually so much space in that bag from reviews that I've seen people are like, it is so spacious. So that's another bag you can look into. If you want to go high street, a little bit more affordable, try the Madewell Essential Sling crossbody bag. That one is also a leather bag. Again, I'm bringing out the leathers. They have like a suede material as well, but look into the reviews. I don't have that one personally myself. These are stuff that I've also been looking into like, mm, looks fun, but that's a really good affordable cross body bag. It's a leather bag, but at the same time, it's a good size that fits like an everyday casual errand style events. You know, also you could go out with it, okay? It's also a crossover bag, right? Then you have the Demelier Vancouver. You have the Demelier Vancouver leather bag. That is a really another one that I also want to look into investing myself. I really like the simplicity of it. It looks like I would get the durable leather style, not again, you don't want glossy leather. You don't want the shiny ones. They are more prone to scuffing. They look beautiful, but they're typically more prone to scuffing. If you're not maybe hard handed with a bag or you barely use it, congratulations. Like I said, if you want, I would just go for the pebbled grain leather. That is your best bet. 
And then of course, look into the J. Crew ED bag. This bag was as well, really, really good quality. At least it looks like a casual crossover bag. Looks a little bit more smaller, but in my opinion, based off your lifestyle, based off the model, all of that, you should look at the measurements of the bag. Please look at the measurements. Don't say, oh, Maria told me to go get this bag and then I got this bag and it's not big enough. Definitely check the dimensions, see if it fits. Like if you have a, a bag right now and you're thinking of appropriating a bag and one of these bags really speak to you, make sure you look at your current daily bag. Do a little measurement of it. Get a body measure tape or, uh, you know, a uh, contractor tape or contractor measuring, you know, the yellow one. Get it measure the bag, make sure that it fits all of the content you currently have if you're make, gonna make the transfer. But this is another really good option that's an affordable price point. Again, they have like discounts and coupons and stuff on their website. Use it to your advantage and come up in the game of style in a fashion. These are some chic practical bags that you can use for like your day-to-day -to -day touch point. Again, I typically recommend black or brown or dark brown or cream colored or like white because they're more neutrals, okay? You don't have to go that color. But I will show a lot of those photos because that's what I typically tend to go towards. Do I not have colorful, pretty, eccentric, cool bags? I do, you've seen them, I love them. But when it comes to a day-to-day -day casual everyday bag, I'm going neutrals. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Finally, we cannot forget the evening bag. It is an essential in your closet. You should have a, like we mentioned now, work bag, casual, now evening bag. The evening bag can be a little bit splashy. It can still be black, but maybe there's some texture, some pattern, something interesting, right? These are the bags that you take for your date nights, your theater nights, your graduations, you know, your birthday night, the nights that are very important and you just want to show out a little bit, right? Honestly, in my opinion, you should have a little bit of interesting color or stuff too, or you should have some, you know, rhinestones or just something, right? It doesn't have to be that way. You can get all black if you want, right? But, you know, get something that would be quilted or fun or like interesting. This is where, for me, I tend to show up with that, right? That's where my colors tend to show up in my evening bags, okay? So maybe for you, that's where you have your evening bags that are made more spicy when it comes to bags. I still think it should be elegant and sleek. Do not get me wrong. I still think this, should, in my opinion, I like the classic styles when it comes to evening bags. So what I mean is like the shoulder bags, because they're, you know, evening appropriate. But I, at the same time, maybe I, I can use it as a clutch when I don't use it as a shoulder bag. Or maybe it is a, you know, a rhinestone cover bag. Like I just said, something interesting. Or just something with a classic shape. So maybe a square bag or a rectangle bag or the ideal shapes that are easily recognizable, but at the same time, the way I do it is like to add slight character to it. And that's really how, you know, accessorize. That's how I accessorize, right? So it depends on what you like, go with God, all right? But this is something that will fit the essentials. We're going to an evening, we're going to your party. You don't have, you won't want the whole world with you. This is not a casual bag that has literally everything you dump in there. This is for your lipstick, your compact mirror, your mascara, your, you know, your eyelash curler, something of that nature, that's what this is for. Now for me personally, like I said, I love like textures, patterns, something interesting, still a classic shape, still a classic look. And that's why my Lulu Puffer, the toy Lulu Puffer, it's like a meal or like a gold color or something like that, a cork. I've also seen it being called cork, but it's like a caramel color bag, which again, is a neutral, you know, we're in that family of tan, in that family of brown, which is a neutral in my closet. I love the little puffer, little puffer because again, it can go from a shoulder bag with its elegant chains and stuff to a clutch aspect, depending on if I just stuff the bag with the chains itself. It really is a versatile bag. And it also is crossbody, which is just amazing because now I can use it as a casual bag too. Now I do feel like it's a very small bag. If I wanted to use it as an everyday bag, maybe I would have gone with a size small, but this was meant to be an evening bag for a way for me to class up my outfit. So that's a bag that I would think that you look at if you're looking at like the luxury aspect or you're looking at, you know, in that price range, in the luxury price range. That's a bag that I love myself, that I personally have. The material, the quality, everything about it is amazing. Another bag to really look into is, is the Fendi Mini Pickable. Now, again, stay away from the glossy skins. Mine is a lambskin, so it's super soft, super delicate, you know? Um, I would say stay away from that. Now, I do still have the bag. It's almost like the same thing for me with my Loewe Puzzle, the Mellow 
calf skin one. It's like that for me, where it's a bit sensitive. Now, if you look at it in the light, you will see the scratches. If you look at it straight on, like everybody else does in the world, you won't see it, right? So, you know, it just bothers me that like I bought this and it has all the scratches on it and it's just unavoidable. That's why I would recommend to go with the Galleria version, which is more of a textured pebble leather. You see where we're going, guys? Pebble leather. Yes, go with pebble leather, textured leather, the grain leather, trust me. You know, just go with that. The original calf skins, that they, just go with that. Just make your life easier. If you're going to put money into this, make your life easier. All right? Trust me, you will get a lot of use out of it. The peekable fits as much as whatever fits into my mini hammock Kobo bag, which is the third one I'm gonna recommend. I love this little baby mini hammock Kobo because the hammock Kobo, right, um, it's, and I know you're like, hey, mini hammock Kobo, it goes into a little clutch bag. You get three for one, all right? It, in my opinion, it's a good entry level designer bag, but it's a three for one bag in the sense that you can make it a clutch bag. And I've done that quite a bit. I made it into like a little, like I just wrap it around my hand. That's what it's meant for. Like a little fortune cookie, right? But at the same time, you can do crossbody. At the same time, you can do shoulder. I love a three, four, one. And that's why this bag I'm adding to a list for my evening bags. Personally, from my experience, I love it. I've used it for evening bags so many times, like actually so worth it. And it's grain leather and it's white, but it doesn't get that dirty. I've got a little stain on it. I wipe it off quickly. Boom, we're good to go. It really doesn't hold things. So for a bag that like, I would say, yeah, I'm throwing it I'm throwing it in the ring, but that would definitely be obviously on the luxury side. And I get some affordable high street, high value bags. You want to look into the Marc Jacobs Clover shoulder bag. This bag itself for me looks so cool. I am eyeing it. All of the stuff I'm talking to you about, I'm either eyeing it myself or I really like, mm, bought it, like it. Because I am eyeing this one. One thing about Marc Jacobs is the quality of leather typically is so good. And the price range is really good too. If you got buy it from like a Nordstrom or something, you're, able, you're liable to get some coupons, some discounts, something like that. And it's worth it. I think you should do it. I've had Marc Jacobs bag. I have two Marc Jacobs bags right now. They are both great quality leather. One I've had for years like literally like eight or 10 years. I got it as one of my graduation presents many, many, many years ago. And then one I got for my husband about a year ago, both great quality. Now the style of leathers are different, but still both great quality. So that's why I say, yeah, look into Marc Jacobs. This one is a very interesting one. It looks very classy. You have it as a crossbody. You have it on a shoulder. It has the chain, which gives it a little bit of elegance, reminding me of that puffer, the Lulu puffer toy puffer that I just talked about. And it just looks cute. And they have so many colors. All of these things that I mentioned have so many colors that you can pick so many that fit your lifestyle. Just find the one that you actually use because that's the point, right? You don't want something that you just flipping, flipping, flipping. Like I love bags and I love to show you guys stuff like that. Like, you know, I love that my closet is like a Barbie dream house. Like I walk in there and I'm like, Ooh, what do I want to date? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Cause that's just like me and my like obsession of like videos and stuff and like just doing it. But I would do it regardless of videos cause I did before the videos, but you know what I mean? Right. And last but not least we have again, mango. Let's go back to mango. They have this Chanel looking flap. This is reminding me literally of the Chanel mini flap, the wallet and chain one. That's the, that's exactly this one. In my opinion, this is PU, so this is not leather. This one is not leather, so I'll give you a little disclaimer, but it is so cute. And they have it in black and in burgundy, which is super, super trendy for fall right now. The burgundy color is popping off. But yes, so definitely look into that bag. That is another affordable, really cute, I would say going out bag. It's crossbody, it's shoulder, it has the chain, it makes it look elegant. A little bit more detail. Like I said, evening bags have that that thing, that little detail that just make them stand out in my opinion. And that's how you could do it. That's the bag. So there you have it. Those are the three essential bags that you should own. A reliable work bag, a classic everyday bag, and of course a timeless evening bag are the essentials everyone should have in their closet in my opinion. Investing in these three pieces will give you so much sanity when it comes to putting outfits together, when it comes to making combos that actually last in your style and in your closet and in your wardrobe. It's not about having a hundred bags to be able to make a million combos. You don't really even need more than like three bags, 10 pieces of clothing to really make or show your style in my opinion. So you don't need a hundred bags. You just need these three to get started. Now, of course, over time you start to change it up and switch it up. That's okay. That's okay, that's your prerogative, as you should, honestly. These are just the foundation that you can build from, right? But having the right ones are the ones that will fit your lifestyle. Overall, every single thing that I mentioned will not work 
if it doesn't fit your lifestyle. Find the colors that work for you, the things that you know you can take care of, that you can maintain well, because at the end of the day, you're investing your money into this, this should last, right? Let me know in the comments which bags you own and which brands you recommend or you want to give advice on someone to try out in the comments. And until next time,